Hello, happy June 18th. Today is a really sunny and hot day outside. Quickly show you. But yeah, it's super sunny, super hot. I'm dying of the heat right now. The window open, I have to find my fan, but I'm just currently organizing my room, organizing my life, and packing because I go to Toronto tomorrow for a work conference. Here's a little caper. My new fish, Hawkins Jr. died RIP, but Caper's doing well. I'm not sure what this is in the tank. But here he is. So fair warning, my room is super messy. I have laundry to put away there. I'm currently doing two loads of laundry now. And yeah, I just have everything literally everywhere. I don't know what I'm bringing. I started organizing my closet though, so at least that looks good. I need to buy more hangers. It's super dark in this room. Um, but yeah, well, let's put you up here. Really wouldn't be a day with me unless I dropped something. Just why I'm trying to organize my room. I think I might want to watch a minimalism documentary soon just because I do have a lot of stuff, but the thing is I use it all. Um, but maybe like I could get rid of some stuff that I don't actually use. My hair is soaking wet also, by the way, because I just cut out of the shower one second find the top for that but yeah I also think that maybe if I just get some cheap storage that would help a lot can you I don't know if you can even see me um okay now you can yeah cheap storage would help a lot um where have my laundry been I think it'd be nice if I could bring my nine and cube organizer back here from like my house in my hometown just because that give me nine more like cube things to put stuff in but then again I don't want to have all this stuff but I also kind of do this is just turning into a much longer rant but why not do that I'll just set the camera up a bit better if we're gonna go into that full on so basically I have been really struggling with deciding what I want to do for the rest of my life um, is a lot I know because I'm only 20 but I've changed my mind I wanted to do schooling for a lot more years like do my four year, year BA and then do my fifth year here as and finish my BBA and like hopefully get it done in the fifth year and then do my MBA my two-year not-for-profit diploma law school um, my MA in communication like all the schooling that would take me up to the age of 30 but I sorry um, I don't know if that is what I want to do anymore, obviously, I love school, I love being a student, but I have to look realistically, which is something I never wanted to do, look realistically about money, I currently cannot afford to have all these years of schooling without being thousands upon thousands of dollars in debt, and now that I am officially 100% pretty much independent, um, I have like a real job, not that all my other jobs weren't real, but this one's just really real like I'm making enough money where um, it's hard to get a student loan um, I just have a lot of bills I have to pay and I want to buy a car and I want to do this this and I want to travel and I'm just so young and I always forget that and no one thinks I'm 20 because <laughs> I don't do the typical things 20 year olds do like or especially around here or in the Maritimes like I don't live at home I have my own apartment I'm executive vice president of a not-for-profit organization. Yes, it is a student's union, but it's a full-time job. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's kind of a lot, and I definitely don't feel my age again, which is completely fine, but it just makes me realize that, okay, you know what, I don't feel my age. Sometimes school's boring. Maybe I should just jump into the real world. I already have had a few job offers for when I'm finished, and I just don't really know what to do um a lot on my plate um but yeah like I love like how my life is right now like I love my job I wouldn't want to change that for anything but I just have to be realistic and that maybe I shouldn't have an extra 10 years of schooling so maybe I should do a three-year BA the one-year BBA and then decide if I really want to go to law school or not which has definitely been new on the table. I mean, it's always been like my backup backup plan to be a lawyer, but I feel like 
I don't know. That's what I'm getting at. I don't really know anything anymore. I have no idea what I want to do and honestly it scares me every day of my life waking up and not knowing what I want to do because I'm a person that plans everything and I mean everything down to the T which I you wouldn't know because my life is currently a mess. I have not packed for a trip I'm going to tomorrow, but it's because it's my first plane ride and I'm a little nervous for that. So I've just been putting it off and I really do like to do spontaneous things like it was a Thursday night a couple weeks ago and you probably saw the vlog. I was like, let's go to, well I said Boston, I was like, let's go to Moncton tomorrow. So we, we went to Moncton the next day and Last night I was like, I'm going to go home for Canada Day, which is in two weeks, which isn't a spontaneous, but a low-key spontaneous. Now I'm going home for Canada Day, and I'm going to spend it with my family and best friends, and I think we're going on a boat, and it's going to be super fun. But I'm lucky that my job that I have now like allows for me to do this, even though I'm like six and a half hours away from where I grew up. I can still put in extra hours, take time off so I can have an, add an extra day to my weekend so I can go and do this because quite frankly as much as I do not want to admit it and have been avoiding saying it I am a little homesick I have never once been homesick in my life going on to being in my third year here and I've never been homesick and all of a sudden I'm homesick and it's not even just for the people like it used to be before I miss my favorite pub I miss my favorite coffee shop and I just don't know what because I 100% know I do not want to live there again and I know that this is my home here but I have two homes and being so far away from one of them kind of sucks so that's why I went to Moncton so I'm going over Canada Day so I have a taste just so I can be like okay here's the taste you realize you miss it you also remember all the infrastructure problems and the shitty school system and that's why you're not there here you have a wonderful job a wonderful friends you get to be independent, you're a real adult, so it's just the whole letting go of the you are not going to get to see your family and friends from back home every single day and it's completely fine because that is why they have Skype, FaceTime, Facebook video, Messenger, phone calls, text messages, etc. So with that being said, that was my overly long rant and I have to start getting back to packing, cleaning, I have to find out when my friends are picking up my fish, so they're babysitting it. I know I literally just got it two days ago and I'm already leaving it, but it's kind of life I live. I love traveling and getting on this plane tomorrow is going to show me that I really want to travel. I have to get outside my comfort zone, get on a fucking airplane, because how am I going to get to Europe if I never go on an airplane? I can't take a boat, which I think takes a month to get there. It's probably overreacting, but yeah that's been my life some progress has been made i reorganized my dresser so i put this out and i forgot that there's ox capability sorry because look i think that's really cool i'm just waiting for my friend to come pick up caper um because i'm gonna be away for the week and then all of my laundry is here. I started off with four weeks worth of laundry. Now I'm down to two and a half. I have some more things to put away. I still have yet to pack. I moved my makeup up here. That's definitely not going to be like that when I come back. And then more hair and storage stuff. That needs to be whole, completely wholly reorganized. This is a mess. Like usual but the floor is a little bit better way better than it was before and it is completely a mess still but feeling a little bit confident that it will be better so i think now i'm just going to put everything that i'm packing into a suitcase i was going to just bring the big one but i'm going to go grab a smaller one and see if i can fit what i need in it i originally wouldn't have all my clothes hung up but I don't have enough hangers. Everything's closed, so I can't go buy more right now. But yeah, I just gotta get this handled now. I think the hardest thing about packing for this trip is I have zero idea what we're doing. All I know is we're gonna be flying into Toronto, then going to early Ontario, so the whole province I need to pack for. Basically, no idea what activities we're doing. 
so I don't know if everything's gonna fit in here I'm only there for four ish day four days Monday Tuesday Wednesday three. yeah four days um so I want to bring everything especially because I don't know like I'm gonna need to bring a baseball cap like a you know just chilling on the beach hat some long sleeves a vest I don't know how many outfits, how many different outings are we doing, how many dresses. I did buy this dress specifically for this conference, so I will bring this. This is all I know that I'm bringing. So I don't want to overpack, but I want to underpack because I have, again, no idea what I'm doing. So I'll bring that probably. Is this my blazer? One of my blazers is kind of damp, which sucks. Um, PJ shorts. Favorite bralette. My favorite bra. This is pretty neutral tank top. Other favorite PJ shorts. Um... favorite sleep shirt a pair of jeans another sleep shirt do I need to bring towels? lounge shorts and I'm gonna need a bathing suit because I am staying at a resort so a bodysuit, not a bathing suit. Here, it's a bathing suit. I hate it, but I didn't have time to go buy a new one. Kind of shoving everything in here for now. What I think I will need. What else can I bring with me? Hmm. Is there a favorite pair of pajama shorts? I guess. Need lots of underwear. Mm -mm. I saw that unpack from when I moved back in slash um I went to Moncton to wear their shirt or something. Um I bring another dress just because I like it, I suppose. Two dresses is probably good enough. That's probably the worst angle ever, by the way. Now I'm gonna go for three dresses. One a day in case we go, like, I don't know, something fancy at night. Again, this is what happens when you don't know what you're doing. Plus, am I up shopping there? Like, I don't know, I'm just definitely overthinking it, but I really need to pack.